what is up my friends? Kcog here. Um, we are going to take on the final boss of chapter 4. Uh, he's kind of a doozy, and honestly, uh, thrust stance or uh, pillar stance would be ideal in this fight. Our spirit's pretty good. Uh, we can take that off. Forgot about that. Oh, that's good too. I forgot we got that. We probably want increases defense. Or attack. Attack would be good too. Crit's not bad either, but in this we can't really spend a win in this fight, so it's kinda makes it more difficult. Anyways, that's what I re recommend is uh we're gonna go pillar stance for this fight. He's kind of a piece of shit, honestly. Uh not because he's that hard. Because um You can't spend a win except for um, random times like this. But this is why we do pillar stance. You're actually going to be able to hit him instead of um, uh, <coughs> not being able to. Oops. Not even being able to get there, honestly. Oops, see? Sometimes it's not even beneficial to do the entire combo, which is kind of sad because it's his hitbox. If you can, get the uh, focus from those. But don't waste getting hit for it either. And that's why we do that one, and then that one, and let's just finish them off. I want to save all my shit for... This is kind of the only way. You're going to have to, like... Oh, God. We still got hit. You're going to kind of have to, like, take off your, um... Oh, my God. We barely caught that one. Jesus Christ. You're going to have to take them off lock to be able to uh, do the spin to win. It's kind of hard, but it's... I think it's easiest when his hand is down. So his hand is, and his leg are kind of close together. I think that's the best way. Unless he's on the ground or his head is there. Anyways, try and dodge, perfect dodge these. It's not that bad. See, now that his hand dropped, we can unlock and kind of go crazy on his hand here. Okay, back away. That, that, um, oh god. Oh, he's still coming at us. Yeah, look at that range. That's just great. His uh, his attacks will be a lot quicker now, too. So keep that in mind. Stay away from the blood, though. It's going to drain your health. As you can see, it's going to drain it over time. But if you can completely dodge them over and over, it is very, very beneficial. And then you just sit back and whack him. And we could even spin to win again. Hopefully we can get our thing back or we won't get our thing back. It's okay. This one's up. Let's see if we can whack him. Give him a good whack here. There we go. Ah, oh, that was kind of close. Alright. If you're getting close to... You can use your transformation. I didn't say that, I should have said that before. Let's get the fuck out of there. Uh-oh. So, he's kind of hard to um, read right there, but, but it is a pretty beneficial time to spin to win. And, look at that fucking spin to win, holy shit. Leading to the big Whomper, look at that shit, and let's just, let's just uh, preemptively do this.
And there it is, ladies and gents. That is the Dusk Veil himself. Anyways, watch the video when you're done. It's gonna be a long one. There's a lot of there's a lot of visuals on that one. And this one's not even skippable, honestly. It takes a while though, but Pillar Stance I think is the way to go. It has the best range. You can dodge a lot of the stuff on the ground he does without being knocked off of your staff. Um, Thrust Stance is probably really good too. You get good range either way with those two. Smash Stance, not as much. But with that being said, you get the Weaver's Needle. And another Coon Steel, which is really what we wanted that entire time. Duskvale's Horn. Two uh, Tree Cores, which is great. I forgot about that. Mind Core, cool, cool, cool. Cool, cool. Uh, Double Combed Rooster Blood is really good later, for certain reasons. Actually, it's probably good now. I thought there was something. Yeah, okay. Let's say, don't leave just yet. But we are going to um, run back. So grab the medicines. I thought there's still one more thing. No, that's just a circle. Anyways, more importantly, you're going to get this thing. I would equip it now. You got the Weaver's Needle. Um, it says highly effective against specific enemies, and that is going to be the chapter four boss, the final boss. And you'll see why. And because we're spinning to winning, it's going to be even easier to use it against him and to beat him. So you'll see what I mean later. Uh, I wish we could warp back to the last bonfire, but you kind of can't. So, yeah, kind of sucks. But that was the uh, portal. That's the painting to the secret area. And we're going to go back up the hill. And we're going to go and rest. And we're going to get the last... Um... Okay, I shouldn't say the last. <laughs> there is... One more pillar we missed with the little letter on it, which is kind of what we need, unfortunately. Oh, actually, let's get this first, too. So this is where we came from, and we made a tight corner to go to the secret area. I wanted to do that immediately, just to make sure we didn't fuck up the quest or fuck up anything. Over here, however... Mm, eh, it's just a licorice. We can get the licorice. Over here, however, it was going to be a very important... Uh, flask or gourd whatever you want to call it um for late game very very important gourd this is probably one of the most important gourds uh later for a secret ending boss now that we got that i think these are just bullshit yep after we get that take your time and pick up the outer ones first that one yeah i think it's that one Yep. So the the one that's slightly bigger than the rest of them is actually going to be a spirit. So we can try and spin to win this bitch immediately. Be careful of your poison buildup though. Look at that fucking damage, Jesus Christ. Oh yeah, and he rejuvenates, unfortunately. But look at that damage, we do so much fucking damage, it's ridiculous. Oh god. Jeez, that crit damage though, it's just unreal. Ugh. There we go. <clears throat> Easy day. Pick up your spirit, we're done here. But you're gonna get the monkey head fungus seed, which is pretty cool. <laughs> Give me the spirit. Damn.
<clears throat> Anyways, uh, that's pretty much it for here. Uh, I don't think there's anything over there. Yeah, there's not. Anyways, we'll run back to the last bonfire. Which kind of sucks, you can't warp back, but because we went to the secret area, you, you just can't. I don't know why, it just warps you right to the beginning of it. Or the last shrine you're at in the secret area. That kind of sucks, but... Should be pretty easy, though. We just took on so many really hard bosses. Well, one, at least one it was a pretty hard boss. And we're almost there, I promise. We got that chest, yep. Okay, we can ditch that guy, we can ditch these guys, we're almost there. <clears throat> we're almost to the shrine, the shrine's just past these losers. You can fight them if you want to. The tigers uh, have a really small drop chance of uh, some gear. I think it's some gear, or it's a curio. Um, yeah, it's pretty tough, but you can brew if you want to. Uh, this one, which does uh, grants a considerable amount of chi by just using your flask. We're going to need it later, though. That's the one we just picked up uh, right before that uh, mushroom monkey head mushroom guy thing. I like using this one for pretty much the whole game, um, but this one is uh, very necessary for... A specific boss and actually um, uh, arguably very important for the final boss of the game so get it you're gonna want it mm. sorry 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 we want to travel webbed ridge um, uh, relief of the fallen long it's a secret boss we fought, and I think this is where we missed the last, um, the last little thing, the last thingy to get. So we'll try that out. Um, yeah, we'll try it out. Give me a second, give me a second. Get myself a drink. Okay. From the hidden long thing, we're just kind of kind of run. Oh, that guy never reappeared. Wow, cool. That's good enough. I gotta remember where to go. So. I think it's this way because we went right the first time and I was remembering I was like where the fuck is this thing and it's actually the other way that just heads back I think I don't re really remember the hut though oh yep see there's a chest we didn't get already right off the bat So, yep, this is the side I missed. Makes sense. And we're not headed that way. And my vape died. That's great. Awesome, awesome. And there it is. Here's the third one. So right through here, we're finally going to get our hands on the third ticket. And with that being done... Uh, it's going to give us the availability to get to the last one. The first three, that's why I said we need three, is because the last one doesn't really count, per se, just because of, um, I don't think there's anything to get down there. Okay. All right, let's just warp back. We have what we want. We've gotten everything we want, so we can just warp back and we can go to the final and last little tower, which is right before the last boss. Now, if you miss this, if you fucked up and you fight the boss and kill him before you do this quest or the secret area, you're probably not going to get the secret ending, 
and uh, you're going to miss the quest like all together. The quest has to be done before the final boss in Chapter 4. So just a heads up. But we're going to go back to the Court of Illumination, which is right before the final boss. So, final boss is through those doors. First things first, go up. Run. Okay, don't go there just yet. If you come up back to the left over here, there's going to be two guys who are kind of just waiting for you here. Oh, and you know what I forgot? I forgot something very important. We can now craft our, our staff. Which is going to make the fight, every fight, actually, honestly, easier. Everything easier. Can I jump through here? No. That'd be nice. Too bad. So before we do the quest, let's, uh, you'll thank yourself later. Uh, if you've done what I have done, if you killed the final boss in the Chapter 4 secret area that we just did, like this episode, <clears throat> if you did that, uh, you're going to have um, access to be able to craft our Golden Long Staff. Which, this is by far the best one we have right now. It is, of course, um, zero crit. So we're going to lose out on 18 crit. That's ridiculous. But it is what it is. You know, crit or an extreme amount of attack damage. And especially in pillar stance. So this boosts all pillar stance moves. It just does. Um, and uh, it's going to execute the thunder attack on the enemy with a heavy attack with uh, three or four focus points. So it's just, by far, the best staff you can have right now. So pillar stance it is. Like, no questions asked. We have the spin to win. We should be getting three to four focus points easy. Easy, easy. So run up. Let's grab the thing. There will be a shield around this um, if you didn't get all three before this fourth one. So if that's what happened, uh, that's what happened, and you got to go back and find it. But here, it looks like a right hand, honestly, but I think this is called the left hand guy. So right off the bat, Supreme Inspector, okay, right off the bat, spend a win. Yeah, look at that damage, just right off the bat, dude. Yep. Okay, let's let's skip. Spare his life. Yes, okay. Let's grab the goodies. And we're gonna get max stamina. Yep, yep, yep. Do it to it. Yep, 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 yep. Maybe I should have watched that video, because I've actually never done that quest before. I just knew where they were, and I always forget about it before the final boss, so I fuck up. Every single time. But that's kind of it. There's no other, um... I'm hoping it, uh... Oh, 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 oh. Of course. Fucking course it was. Uh... I don't even care that we get poison. Doesn't even matter. Not phased. And there's the lightning too. If 
Bada bing, bada boom. We get another point before we go into the boss fight. Okay, that should. That, I th it looks like it's it. I think it's going to affect the final boss, though, if I'm not mistaken. But we're going to be fine with the staff that we just got, plus the uh, whatever else. But. Yep, quest complete, I guess. Right? Yeah, I think so. <clears throat> Anywho, I guess we'll find out. I know that's not what you want to hear, but that's just, it's one quest I never actually did. I was meant to come back, but then you beat the boss and you're like, fuck, I forgot about the purple statues, and then you're, you're out of luck. Sorry. Uh, this is not a bad fight to actually use medicines, by the way. So first time you come here, you don't get a choice. You don't really get a choice. Um, you get no choice on uh, going left or right before, so it's just kind of a thing. So the faster you can do damage while he's uh, um, fighting spiders, the better. Because uh, <clears throat> uh, they're going to die and you're going to be alone. So take this time to really just capitalize on that. I was hoping we could get four there, mobile. So also use your um, your immobilize ASAP because uh, it's gonna go away. You're not gonna be able to immobilize them again. Mm, damn, thought I could get that one. Oh well. Oh, got the grab. God damn it. Oh, fucker. That's okay. We're about to heal and do a three point charge. That's fine. There we go. Knock him out of that shit. So he likes doing this lightning thing. And he's kind of a fucking idiot about it. He does this fucking bullshit. God, Jesus. Come on, don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me. Come on, baby. Okay, and this is exactly the moment you use the needle. So right when he does that shit, use the needle, do it to him, spin to win as fast as you can and try and get your needle back, but it's probably not gonna happen. But kill him as fast as fucking possible. Stun him after the two big hits. Spin to win and try and get your needle back as fast as fucking possible. And really just kill him as fast as possible. Come on, needle! Oh god damn it. And that's it. Easy fucking day, ladies and gents. 
That is the Dusk Veil and the Chapter 4 Final Boss in the same go. So. <clears throat> First try for the, the fourth boss. I didn't see any differences during the quest or not, honestly. So I don't know re really what the quest gave you besides, uh, you know, an extra cutscene, plus you got the stamina. You won't be able to get that. You won't be able to get the stamina thing, and that's okay. It's not like a deal breaker for beating the game, but uh, for the final boss stuff, I don't know. For the secret ending, like, you, pro you want to do all the quests, you want to do all the secret bosses, you want to do all the things. Uh, don't want to miss that secret ending. It's a lot of work. You can beat the game really easy if you skip a bunch of shit, especially in New Game Plus 2, but New Game or New Game Plus is a whole different story, but anyways, yeah, watch uh watch all the stuff. We get our fourth um our fourth uh thingy. Whatever that's called. <laughs> we'll take uh no levels, okay, that's cool. And some mats. We get some mats. We got another coon steel too. So we can save that for the next um We can save that for the next weapon. There's gonna be some weapons coming up that uh are even better than this one. This one is definitely the best weapon in the game, hands down, at this moment. Unless you're trying to spin the win and get that um critical chance uh up to be able to use your needle more. But honestly, you only need to use the needle one time. So as long as you save that needle to when he does his golden aura, uh, use the needle, you're fine. Easy day. You just saw. But yeah, anyways, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Kick out. Later.